Hey guys, today we're going to learn how to convert from standard form to factored form. So remember factored form looks a little something like this. A times x minus root 1 times x minus root 2. So if you were given standard form and you were asked to find the roots or the x-intercepts without a calculator, you would need to be able to convert. So to do this, we want to factor this trinomial right here. It's a trinomial because it's three terms. So the way we factor trinomials in this class is we use this little graphic organizer that I like to call the X factor. So we first start by drawing an X. And then uh, we put numbers in these different uh, locations. So we're going to start at the top. And so to get our top number, we multiply A times C. So our A value is 1, and our C value is negative 3. So 1 times negative 3, 1 times negative 3 is negative 3. Then we go to the bottom, and we place our B value in the bottom section, which is negative 2. Remember, standard form is set up like this, ax squared plus bx plus c. And that's where I'm getting the a, b, and c from. And those represent the coefficients on the variables and the constant on the end. OK? All right, so let's take a look now and see how we fill out the two side spot. So, we want, this is what I like to call the Sudoku part of the problem, the puzzle, is we need to find two numbers that multiply to give us negative 3, and they have to add to give us negative 2. So after a little bit of thinking, we should have come up with negative 3. Uh, actually, they multiply and they add. Okay, negative 3 times 1 is negative 3. Okay, so they have to multiply to give us the top number. Negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2. And so they have to add to give us the bottom number. So we found our two numbers. So at this point, I'm going to make a ratio. So I'm going to put the fraction line in here. And the A value, which is in this case 1, very important, the A value is what goes on top. Okay, so now... We look at our two ratios and we ask ourselves this question, can I reduce them? And the answer is no. So since we can't reduce them, we can go ahead and write our factored form now. So it's going to go y equals, and in this case our a value is 1, so that doesn't change, okay? Since our a value is 1, it stays 1. So the top number of our ratio is going to be the coefficient on the x term for our first factor here, x minus root 1. So this is going to be 1x minus 3. Okay, and then the next one, so again, 1 is going to be the coefficient on the x term of this factor. So we have 1x minus 1. And, but in this case, our root is positive 1, okay? So we're going to do x plus 1. So whatever the sign is of your bottom number here is the sign that you're going to put into your factors. So if it's minus, if it's negative 3, it's going to be minus 3. If it's positive 1, it's going to be plus 1. So now we know our two roots or x-intercepts, which is going to be 3, 0, and negative 1, 0. And those are our two roots. Okay, let's look at another example. So this one had an a value of 1. Well, what happens if our a value is some other number besides 1? So let's take a look at this example. OK, 
Okay, so we're going to start off the same way. We're going to factor this trinomial here, okay? Um, we notice we have an a value of 2, so keep that in mind. We're going to draw our x, our little graphic organizer here, to help us factor. And so we're going to multiply our a times our c, so we're going to have negative 24. And then our b value is going on the bottom. I guess I wasn't doing that, which is 2. Okay. All right, so here we go. So two numbers that multiply to give us the top number, and they have to add to give us the bottom number. So let's see. How about, can you figure it out before me? How about 6 and negative 4? They multiply to give you negative 24, and they add to give you 2. All right, so you found our two numbers. And now we're going we're gonna to put our a value on the top of our ratios. And then we reduce if we can, and we can. So 2 6 reduces to 1 3rd. And 2 over negative 4 reduces to 1 over negative 2. Now please make sure you keep the sign on the bottom number of your ratio. Okay? Now we lost our a value. So when we write our factor form, we have to make sure. Notice the a value has been canceled out in both ratios. So you got to be careful that you don't lose your a value completely. So our a value for factored form is going to stay the same, which is 2. Okay, Just be careful, because sometimes you'll lose the a value and sometimes you'll lose it on one, but you won't reduce the other one and you'll still have it. Okay, So just keep that in mind. All right, so we're going to have 1x plus 3. We're using our new reduced ratio, not our old one. 1x minus 2. And there you have it. There is factor form. So we have an a value of 2, so we have a vertical stretch. It's opening up. We know our roots are negative 3, 0, and 2, 0. Those are our roots. Okay, we'll see you tomorrow in class. Thanks for watching.